Hi, John. Good morning and good morning, everybody. Uh, on this Thursday, um, what day is today? September 23, a chilly, lovely morning in Houston. Yes, I have lost completely. I can't see a thing. It's all right. You can hear me, right? I can hear you. And we can, see you. See. We can see you too. So just focus on the camera. All right. You want to do some housekeeping? Yes, everybody, if you are joining us through Facebook, as Bogdan just mentioned, uh, we, are, we are broadcasting through Zoom, so we can't uh, see you live on Facebook because we can't see you through Zoom. So there may be a bit of a delay. We'll try and get to your comments, but if we don't, it's not because we're not paying attention or don't care for you. It's just that there's, uh, there's some technological differences there, and there's a delay with Facebook as well. So uh, thank you very much for being here. Everything that we're talking about today is for sale. Uh, I mean, we are though we are that desperate. We'll sell. I'll sell you this chair if if you buy it. No, everything that uh, we're talking about, all the art we're presenting, is for sale. And uh, just so you know, if you fall in love with a piece and, and want to own it, uh, we can make that happen. We can ship anywhere. That's not an issue. And if you guys are in Houston and want to visit us we have uh, our studios here in silver City studios and that is uh, uh, very close to downtown houston is 2000 edward street and um, john is in studio 108 and i'm in studio 111 and we are open pretty much every day i am here every day working on various projects and um, but if you want to do a, um, a schedule a meeting we can do that as well absolutely Shall we move uh, forward with uh, the two Let's do pieces it. of artwork we prepared today? Uh, and uh, one, it's uh, mine, uh, Intertextuality. It's a black and white photog photograph. And um, your is a um, remnant in blue, right? Are you going to put the slides up? Uh, yeah, I haven't done. No. No. Well, how about this? I am going, this technology is sometimes tricky. But I can see you again. I found you. Fantastic. How's that? Perfect. Now it's the, as I said, intertextuality is the photograph on the left and uh, John's painting is on the right, uh, remnant in blue. So uh, guys, this is a, uh, a project I've been working on. It's not yet completed. Uh, it's part of the series called Unwritten. It's just because wars doesn't really matter. You can, you can, uh, the, the, actually, the unwritten uh, title comes for uh, the literary terms, right, John? Uh, I yeah, haven't... but the, the whole idea that there is actually a, um, a whole set of vocabulary, there's a whole language in, in, in art, in, in the visual, that uh, we don't need words for. We just see it. And, we, and so the idea is that there, you can create this whole kind of set of really, really interesting images. Mm -hmm. And it's not about language, it's about visual uh, stimulation. And, and I just I just love this series, particularly because I consider it really true photography. I mean, it is only about light and shadow and texture. Right. And, and, it, and, and what I've done to create these shapes, I mean, you guys can go to my website, bogdanphotoart.com and look under the unwritten series you will see a lot of variety of images that are, are you know in a way similar but very difficult very different uh i like to to play with the paper and leave the paper do whatever it wants um and then i'll move it slowly left and right just to to create that balance and interestingness but otherwise it's it's what paper do you know and Bro. so you've got gray paper on a gray paper background is right. that how you take these photos Right. It is the same uh, paper as the background. Exactly. It's the, that, that, that kind of gray. And then I had a, uh, a spot like I would moving, I, 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 I would move it, you know, in various sure. uh, mm -hmm. position until I achieve the, the highlights and the, the shadows, the, to create uh, the depth of the element. I just think they're lovely. This, I mean, it, it's got an architectural quality to it, but, but it's paper. It, it's, it's uh, it's structured and yet it's obviously kind of organically doing whatever it is 
Colonel and Papers wants to do. And it's, you know, it's very special because I, I choose to print these uh, uh, images on the Hanemule uh, paper, which is called uh -huh. Parita. And it's a glossy paper, it's a hundred percent cotton. And the, the, the texture, it's so rich and beautiful. You know, it's, it's very hard to show you on, on a computer screen how that looks like, mm -hmm. but um, uh, it's just very, very uh, rich uh, paper. And uh, I, you know, I, I, I choose to, to feature these pieces because I finally made it available via my website. You know, I created it some time ago, but I never yet uh, officially released them. So um, now I released the very first uh, part of the series on my website. Now, if you wanna, if you wanna see it briefly, I have it here. I have a print here. You know, it, it doesn't show much of anything on screen as i said and these reflections are crazy but yes this is how it looks like that size is amazing it's it's really nice at that size I mean, and so let me ask you i, I wasn't clear last time we, we talked about this are these color photos that just don't have any color or are they or are they black and white photos? you know i i they, they are designed to be photographed in black and white mm -hmm. but uh, you know i can't i can't shoot with my camera just black and white so uh, there is gonna be uh, the idea of it it's totally different shades of grays basically but uh, you know i can't control a ray of light from outside that is a little yellow so i had to get rid of those one but oh, okay it's completely designed on black and white marvelous and welcome deborah i see deborah's joined us looking comfortable at home that's lovely and um, I think it's time for you to talk about uh, uh, me. Yeah, remnant in blue. You're going to pull the slide back. Up? I, I, I will in just a second. If not, I'll grab the piece. There we go. Marvelous. This is a, a painting I did uh, a while back, 2019. Uh, this one is called Remnant in Blue. It is uh, 16 by 20 uh, on canvas. And what I tried to do here was just just deal with with raking color across uh, a textured canvas, and so uh, it's just layer on top of layer on top of layer. And there's some greens in there, and there's some darker blues and lighter blues and some white, and then topped with gold. I I just really love the effect of it. I've got it here. Um, that's metallic gold it really kind of picks up the light when the light's right uh oops i'm not far enough away uh i just think it's a very very calming uh picture it's got lots and lots of depth and intricacy and, and like all of my work i love for you to be able to experience it differently when you're close up mm -hmm. so when you get close up to the picture there's lots and lots of texture and depth and, and movement going on on something that looks pretty placid and, and calm on the surface. Mm -hmm. So uh, kind of looks like running water, whatever it looks like. I think there, there's an iconic quality, almost like a, a religious icon as well, uh, with the golds and the blues, but uh, just very yeah. abstract. It's, it's very beautiful. Does it have a frame? Yeah, it's framed. Is it framed? Yeah, it's beautiful. And you know, um, if you guys don't like this frame, I can see I can see this piece frame in a variety of uh, other gold frames or... Oh, a gold frame would be lovely too. Yeah, just to yeah. match your, your interior. Yeah, that would look fantastic in, in many other versions. I find with a lot of abstract work to have a nice... I, I usually do black. Solid, uh, yeah. To kind of define it uh, so it doesn't look like yeah. it just goes on forever. Yeah, um, it, it, it not all paintings need them, but uh, I think this one is benefited by having some sort of... It completely puts a barrier and completely puts a barrier in between the artwork and the other, whatever it's around the house, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's Remnant in Blue, and uh, it's been hanging here for a while, and I said, I didn't, you know, we never talked about it before. Yeah, I think it's a lovely, lovely piece, very peaceful, and it's very colorful in a way. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, it seems like it's only one color, but when you get up to it, there's a lot going on. That, yeah. Poughkeepsie, I just, uh, 
want to remind everybody that this photograph of mine from the series uh, Inheritance, uh, as is, is called, uh, made it to Poughkeepsie um, of an era exhibition and um, it's going to be from November 5th to December 9th. So if you want a Christmas, uh, how says that, a prior Christmas trip to New York, uh, this is the time to do it. So book your tickets and go see my exhibition. I tell Other, you, that this, this picture's been getting a lot of love lately. A lot it's of attention. Just in Poughkeepsie. Yeah, yeah. And um, if you guys wanted to see in person, uh, you can do it here in my studio. I have it. I have a uh, an edition printed here in the studio, which is uh, 20 by 30 on a 30 by 40 frame. It's just glorious, and um, of course, uh, it's uh, for sale. Also, is featured at the um, Fine Feria website until the end of November. Right, the end of November, and so there's only five in this edition there are only five in this edition yes so once once these five sell no more will be printed so exactly. and they're fairly rare and they're quite popular you're getting lots of quite, lots of attention lately quite popular and i can see why they're they're lovely now guys we have a, a new uh, Hi guys. Hi. Episode in um, youtube and uh, we'll show you step by step what we've been uh, doing last week, right? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, setting up the home studio, um, placing uh, what uh, wallpaper and uh, putting together Crazy the new furniture, doing some electrical, and uh, do some artwork in between those. Uh, Right. Moments. We actually also do art there as well as decorate. You know, as a matter of fact, uh, here is John uh, painting and uh, working for a commission. Look at him, he's really busy. And uh, yes, he had a lovely commission from a friend Keith in um, where Louisiana. Is Keith? Uh, Louisiana. And um, yeah, we are accepting uh, commission work, especially for uh, now that the, the um, holiday season is coming over. A lot right. of people are uh, uh, interested in uh, uh, doing some uh, uh, unexpected gifts, right, to those one they love. And um, it's just so delightful. Keith actually had purchased uh, a picture that looks almost identical to these. And he said, I want you to create 15 of these so I can give them away as Christmas presents. So they're obviously each different. They're all, they're all unique pieces, but uh, what a lovely, what a lovely thing for him to be able to give a very unique gift. And what a lovely thing for me to get business uh, as the holidays approach. So, you know, it's they, they, when I look now uh, at them all together, uh, it makes me dance for some reason. Yeah, well, the, the, to me, they look like stained glass windows. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. And uh, what else have I done uh, this week? I created a lot of new artworks this week. Um, so those two of them, uh, um, the photographs are not just the best photographs I took. It's like phone camera and uh, were basically watercolor paper. And I, I needed something bold and simple. And I said, I have this idea in mind of creating these uh, irregular round shapes that looks like stones in a way. And uh, it started from there. I'm gonna, I said, I'm, I'm going to paint them black and then I'll probably do another layer on top. But I don't think I'm going to do anything with them because I like them as they are. I really like them. I think they look marvelous. Really, really they're, bold. They're very, very bold. I don't know if they look like stones. I can see that. It also looks like an animal print. Um, yeah. It's, uh, they're, they're stunning. Yeah, and but they, uh, of course, like any other artwork, they look better um, when you when you have it in front of you rather than a, uh, a photograph. Now, last Saturday, I've been playing here in the studio with other uh, um, watercolor and ink um, artworks because, uh, again, I, we didn't have a lot of uh, people coming by in the studio and that gives me a lot of um, time to to explore and uh, create. create more. So this one in particular in the print plan, it's called Fluid and actually I finish it and it's right here. It's, you know, ready to go. It looks lovely. 
and it's yeah it's, it's like pebbles in a stream and you know uh the beauty of it it's uh the, the back it's actually it's floated on a white uh mat and um, the back of it it's actually uh, uh painted on pink so when the 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 light reflects some it enter on between these edges it reflects back um a glowing uh, shadow which is very interesting now and i've got I'll, a little sorry go ahead i was gonna say i have a little new work to share as well it didn't make the slides because i just finished it last okay. night and i have oh, that's right here. that's right um, also on paper that's acrylic yes that is beautiful i love that texture don't have names for them yet uh but uh i just finished these last night and uh brought them in so that uh, we've got can photograph them and get them all cataloged um but i think they turned out kind of nice yeah. very very lovely i love that blue and gold together mm -hmm. Interesting. I kind of like the remnant. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like gold and blue, apparently. Yeah, so that's what I've been working on. And those are a part of uh, some, some uh, uh, work I'm doing in preparation for my art uh, lab that I'm doing with Michael Swank at uh, PRPGMX, uh, which is the uh, gallery uh, that has the residency program in Mexico City. And so we're in an art lab and I've got an eight week program and this is my work for week one, uh, doing Fantastic. some studies on light and uh, illumination. We also need to say hello to Banu, which I can't, I don't remember where Banu is these days, either in Moscow or in Turkey somewhere. And oh, to, marvelous. Hi, Banu. And to Shanti. Shanti. Oh, Shanti's here. Shanti, these need frames. I guess. Actually, these look like your work, Shanti. <laughs> the blue. Uh, what else? Let me share with you this um, last piece of the um, sculptural piece I put together. One of them, a new one in the series, is not yet ready. I have a um, the main element here. The uh, arch needs to, needs to be placed uh, today, and that would be the end of it. So uh, I'm keeping busy, John. No, sir, that's marvelous. Yeah, really, really, really like that 3D stuff that uh, sculpture photography. Now it's time to thank everybody that is watching us, that is supporting us, that is collecting us. Thank you guys and come and see us um, in the studio or um, visit our website. We'd love to see you anytime, anywhere. Um, thank you. Uh, oh, and I need to, 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 to thank another couple that show up last Saturday. I don't. Oh know. yes. I don't know their names. I don't know. It, it happened so quickly that I I didn't got to grab their names or or a way to stay in touch with them. You know, they were uh, having a, a lovely quiet afternoon walking around, and uh, they found this piece of mine, which is a uh, mixed media painting in the rack, and I, I call it contagious because I I worked on, on it during COVID time sometime last year and um, it does look like a coronavirus and they said is this corona I was like yeah it can be corona I said we want it I said so they purchased this piece as a remember of the time we were in yeah what a lovely little gift a remembrance of, of a virus uh, who, who would have thought that would have become a collectible thing yeah yeah but it's a lovely lovely image so it, it can remind them of this this uh this bizarre time in our lives but it's a beautiful piece of art as well next two pieces on the show are sage from the series surprise gardening this is a fun series and um, you have natasha for your natasha. headshots right mm -hmm. she loves she does look like a russian lady i don't know why doesn't she yeah she does but let, let me let me introduce you guys to uh, uh, no um, I'm sorry I forgot about this the title is wrong guys it's called Sage and ah. it, it's from the um, um, I'm gonna just do it right now before we confuse everybody 
uh, is from the surprise gardening uh, series I've been working on. And in this series, I, I wanted to create something fun uh, uh, and uh, look for faces uh, in the garden. You know, when you when you pass a bush, sometimes I said, oh my God, what if something is there? <laughs> it's looking back at you. <laughs> and there's a lot of them. Uh, uh, you know, I haven't officially uh, publicized this anywhere, but it's time to to get it out of the box and share it with people. And, and the depth uh, of that that black background it, it looks like it looks like velvet. It's just so rich. Yes, that's the uh, paper I assume. Huh? Yes, that's a, a beautiful paper, and that's it's a, uh, I think I have this one called on uh, uh, hot press paper. I don't remember exactly right now. But um, yes, it's very rich. The black is very deep. And uh, what I try to create with this one is take elements from nature and either photograph them and scan them and place them together uh, so that there is uh, uh, some sort of a surprise uh, mm -hmm. element uh, coming in and, you know, make you either uh, scare you in a bit, uh, uh, make you afraid of something or amuse you in the same time. Make you laugh, yeah. And this, uh, I found a stunning this, series and a stunning photo. And this one, you know, those leaves are uh, taken from a bush in the garden. And actually, this piece of um, how do you call this? Uh, it's a pine. It's a, it's a bark. Uh, mm -hmm. Bark. Um, I found it in the forest, and I said, "Oh, this looks like a fake. So I'm going to add it and bring it and do a new piece with uh, with it." So this. And is how many are in this edition? Um, I, but those are 15 in the edition. 15 in this edition, okay. And uh, let me share it with you. I have it here. And actually, I'm looking at it right now, and it's it's the same as the other one. It's a, a Barita glossy uh, paper, and it's a museum quality, very high quality paper. Uh -huh. uh, very, very thick. Um, Doesn't it look better in person? It, it does. Yeah. And you know, there's no reflection in the look uh, at it. You know, it's just, just fantastic. Well, yeah, that's because you got it in plastic. And, and, and that that black, it's so deep and pleasant. Yeah. So yeah, very, that's, very my, beautiful. that's my series. What say. a fun series. And if you guys, uh, this is a 16 by 20, I, I believe, uh, print, oh, I, but it can uh, be printed any, any, any uh, size. If you guys are watching us and are fancy, this kind of funny piece, uh, Get in touch with me, and uh, we'll um, we'll sell you something, either this size or bigger or smaller, whatever. Uh, how about Natasha, John? Natasha, Natasha is uh, one of my little illustrations. Uh, you want to put her up on the side? Oh yeah, I forgot about it. You and that coffee cup. Yeah, I'm loving That's... that coffee cup. It's a cheap coffee cup, John. There's Natasha. Uh, Natasha is, uh, all of these are done uh, on the five by seven pieces. Uh, and um, I just I just love doing these illustrations. Actually, it was, again, Michael Swank uh, from uh, PRPGMX who suggested that I take these kind of cartoon heads that I was doing and abstraction and, and kind of mix them together. So Natasha is in kind of that wave of experimenting with, with mixing those two things. Obviously, these are very, very simplistic drawings, but I think that the the character, the emotion, the the personality that they're able to show uh, is is just remarkable. Look at those eyes, Natasha. Not only the eyes, but look at the earring. The earring is flying. Yeah. So her head just popped around, uh, and, and something <laughs> just caught her attention. And, and, and knowing Natasha, I'm thinking she's mad and that uh, there's some, she's, she's about to let somebody hear about something, uh, her, why she's angry. She's, uh, she's got such personality and, and I just find that remarkable that with a few simple, simple uh, strokes of a, of a pen and some, and some color, uh, I can make a, a Natasha pop out and, and uh, and her personality show. And if, uh, she, yeah. and if she is a Russian uh, sort of lady, oh, you don't put up with Russian ladies. She, no, if, if you've caught <laughs> Natasha's attention enough that it made her earring fly, 
then uh, you're in trouble. <laughs> you better be running. Hey, do you have uh, it around you? I do. I've got Natasha right here. Uh, so I've got her framed up. And these things are just adorable. She's got she's got some real good eyeshadow going on yeah, too. Yes, it matches metallic, the frame. Metallic golds in that. Uh, Cause she's fancy. Natasha's yes, fancy. Is, yeah. uh, I also have my little uh, dots in there. Some things that are kind of standard in in my kind of pictorial vocabulary. But and what I, you those what are, you don't have, um, and it's about to happen, guys. I'm talking with you all. It needs a red dot. It needs a red dot. It has yeah. a red dot down here, <laughs> but I think it needs one over here. Yes, Natasha is is uh, is probably quite a handful, but she would look great in your home. And and I'm I'm thinking she might protect it as well. Yeah, she can be a saint. Because nobody's going to mess with Natasha. Anyway, yeah. that's Natasha, and uh, I just thought I would share her with you. Guys, this was uh, everything for today. Do we have to um, remind people anything? Um, well, we've, got the, uh, we've got the big biennial coming up. Here at Soya Yards. Mm -hmm. That's on October the 2nd. Yes. And what that means is twice a year, we have these big events where everybody, all the buildings are open in the evenings and it's a big sale. There's, there's food and, and it's just a, a lovely event. Yes, uh, it's on us. It's on the first Saturday. We'll be here all day, but the actual event takes place from 5 p.m. till 9 p.m. And uh, it's it's a great party. It's it's a great great place to come and see lots and lots of art, lots and lots of people. But there's this place is big enough that even if there are a lot of people, uh, you can still socially distance and things and be safe. Uh, but uh, hopefully you'll come out. Start that that. Uh, fourth quarter buying because um, we need your we need your sales and uh, you need the gifts for holidays absolutely and there will be some uh, uh, sales as well um, some percentage off right well it depends on the artists but yeah yeah so there'll be a lot of opportunities art for all basically absolutely well wonderful have a great week we thank you guys for joining and we will see you again next week on our chat. Thank you, guys. Have a great end of the week. Bye, Bye. now.